All right, this is DJ Murphy. I'm the uh, Editor-in-Chief of ISC News, and I am here with Teresa Payton, a former White House CIO and a, secure, a uh, cybersecurity consultant now, uh, an expert. And uh, Teresa just came off stage, came off the bridge stage. Uh, it was a packed room and uh, had some really, really interesting things to say and probably scared some people, too. Um, I want to take you back just to one thing that you were talking about at the beginning, uh, and, and that is uh, deepfakes and deepfake technology. AI is so prevalent here now as a, as a security tool. It has to be. Yeah, but uh, there's the other side of that when bad actors use it as well. And, and uh, you know, security officers and, and CISOs and and people at all levels of the security apparatus are just petrified of what bad actors can do with deep tech technology now and how easy it is. Can you just talk for a little bit uh, about what they can do to some, some steps that they can do to, to make their lives a little easier in this regard? Absolutely. So, as you know, one of the things we talked about was the fact that criminals study human nature and human behavior. So, they're looking for those in the spaces. So, I think. People in this industry know what they're doing. So just remember kind of that this thin spaces they're going to go after. And so they're going to look at everybody's protocols, everybody's handbooks. And they know how we all do business. And this is where having a design in your playbook, in your handbook, in your process, it's a tweak that's kind of creative and unexpected will throw criminals off. Of so. What we're seeing is, is that criminals can, with social engineering, emails, voicemails, videos, create convincing deepfakes, create convincing social engineering. They're leveraging generative AI, where they can take, maybe there's like three written pieces by your CEO. They can plug it into generative AI and then say, hey, as the CEO of this company, here's some things I've written in the past. Now write a letter to my CFO talking about how delighted I am about this new charity we're investing in or this new acquisition, this company we're buying, and write a letter to my CFO um, saying that. And then they can just cut and paste that into their social engineering. So they're, they're studying us and then leveraging really wonderful tools and technology for misusing it and using it against us. And uh you sort of came up with a, a framework for companies that can sort of uh, attack governance of AI as they as they go through this. What were some of the things that, that you brought uh, to the table on that? Yes, yeah, so in thinking about this audience, this industry, yeah. I wanted to create a framework that would be dynamic, flexible, but also really simple to implement. So it's a five-step framework. Some of the elements in that framework are always starting with the human user story. What does technology have to do with that human user story? What's happening before technology gets engaged? What's happening after it's engaged? And then as it relates to AI, creating sort of the safe AI team, creating sort of those, what's the worst thing that can happen? Based on this implementation, how could it be used against us? How could it be, go off the rails? And then creating pilots and doing testing runs before you actually deploy. Using that five-step framework, I believe, will help companies in a safe, ethical, and secure way take advantage of all the great things that AI can do for them in the innovation scene. Yeah, and the great thing about about your talk is, I, I think you know this isn't going to eliminate all of your risk, but it's going to it's going to go a long way with some simple uh, simple strategies. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm all about. You noticed today, yeah. I not only gave things that might take time, might cost money. But I introduced a lot of free tools yeah. that this group can use um, to kind of get ready for what's coming yeah. next. All right, Teresa, we are so happy to have you back this year. We hope you can join us again sometime. Yeah, I hope to become a regular. And if there's a road that goes with that, <laughs> here I am between two ferns. Right. Right? Um, but I love this community. I love what you, you and the team have built here. This is such a great collaborative group. Everybody shares. Everybody is in for everybody's shared success. It's, I love the vibe here. Well, so, happy we, that. We appreciate that and we definitely will. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.